Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and I'm the campus pastor at Freedom Campus at Project Connect Online Church. Today, I have uh, the address of the excuse me the address of the campus pastor speech. It is my duty as a campus pastor to to not only to inform the people of the kingdom of God, but also understanding that we're living in the end times. Is that there's going to be a lot, a lot of things going to be happening uh, this year than ever before. First, I want to address that that we. As a church, we as a body of Christ, and we as the kingdom citizens, we declare war against the kingdom of Satan. Because, because we see more evil in this time than ever before. And as a campus pastor, it is my duty to not only warn against sin, but also warn against the, the, the wits and the schemes of the devil. We know for a fact that many people are getting killed. We know for a fact that there is something behind closed doors that we cannot see. But yet God only sees from his perspective. And and I understand that there are true prophets, sorry, true prophets and prophetesses of the kingdom of God to address what's going on in the spiritual realm. And so we declare war against the kingdom of darkness, to against the kingdom of Satan. And that we plead the blood of Jesus over our lives, over our families, and over our, uh, our, our hearts. And that we should be guarding our hearts during this time. And we know for a fact that Satan will try to counterattack against us. But yet the Bible says that, you know, who can be against us? You know, we, we, we belong to the Lord. Amen. And that no weapon shall prosper. The second thing I want to address. We should be praying for the mass shooting victims family. Because they are really hurting right now. Because they lost their loved ones, their friends during the mass shooting. My life coach prophesied. That during this summer, we will, we will be seeing more mass shootings than ever before. And this is going to be called the bloodiest summer of 2021. And that we need to be prepared to see more mass shootings than ever before. I see, I see let me make that clear. Um, there was on the news or a uh, a headline that the suspect has been found at a Walmart at a Walmart parking lot with ammunition, getting ready to do a mass shooting. But the police caught it first. See that there? We need to be praying for our families and our loved ones. We need to be praying for our friends. See, these mass shootings is, is, is part of the scheme of the devil. To depopulate the world as we know it. And that without the gospel being preached to them, they will be, they will be lost forever and be in hell for, for all eternity.
the third the third address I want to make mention is that take the kingdom of God seriously. Excuse <coughs> me. Take the kingdom of God seriously. If you're a lukewarm Christian, I I recommend so I recommend that you should repent for what you're doing. Now, if I did something wrong, I repent. Because you gotta understand that, you know, either you're gonna be hot for God or cold for God. But if you look warm, he'll spit you out of his mouth. Revelation, Revelation chapter three, verse sixteen. So you better choose whose side you're gonna be on, because you cannot choose both. And it is time to realize that we are a part of the kingdom of God. That we have full access to the weaponry of Christ. And, we, and we, we will use the spiritual gifts to advance the kingdom of God. And not for ourselves. See, it is our jobs as Christians, as as sorry, as kingdom man and kingdom woman, rather, to to take the sword of the spirit and to examine ourselves. Where are we in faith, and how should we improve our walk with the Lord? It is too easy to say that we are Christians, but where is the power of God in your life? Lastly, my last address I want to make, and I am froze again. Okay. The last point I want to make. The grace to move forward. See, we cannot look back to the past no more. No. But I understand that it is by the grace of God that we look towards the author and finisher of our faith. Not the things in the past. Leave those things in the past. But look to the future. What God has for you. No matter how bad this world gets. God always has a plan for you. Is that it is by your uh, is by your obedience to Christ. That we begin to understand that we belong to him. And not for ourselves. And I do have one announcement. July. I will say July. From July 29th to August 1st. We're going to get into. Uh, almost like an online revival. So, and, and I'm going to be uh, using uh, Facebook uh, live stream, and I'll be posting that on the, uh, either my personal page or on the, uh, on the uh, Freedom Capital. Well, yeah, I could do it personally, and then after I finish that, I'll copy it to, I'll share it to the, uh, the uh, Freedom Campus group. So that you can watch it there as well. And then I'll download it and post it on YouTube as well. Um, it's going to be amazing. Amen. It's going to be four days of preaching the gospel. Preaching the word of God. Uh, hopefully people will be saved. And, uh, and, and, and all that good stuff. And I have faith because of that. So that is my address. I hope you guys have a great uh, week. 
Yeah, I'll be heading back to work tomorrow. So, yeah. So, may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time.